The Apple Watch has entered its fourth generation. It's got a new design this time, which it didn't have before. And Apple is also pushing into FDA cleared health tech. Now we've got the Apple Watch Series 4 here in two different sizes. We just got it, we've unboxed it, and now I'm gonna set it up and I'm gonna show you what it looks like in steel and in gold steel and give you a guided tour on the watch faces and how the whole interface looks compared to the Apple Watch Series 3. Now, as far as ECG testing with heart rate, that feature is not coming until later this year, and we're gonna be doing a lot more fitness tests on the watch. But let's dive right in, and let me show you what's new on the Apple Watch Series 4 design. The review unit I'm trying out is a gold stainless steel, also with a gold Milanese band. This is totally over the top, not a design I would normally wear. So this is the 44 millimeter on my wrist. Looks pretty similar to the other Apple Watch at first glance, but I like the larger display. Totally seems like my size watch. Definitely not too big. Actually feels smaller than a lot of other larger uh, Android Wear OS and even Samsung watches. So still feels pretty compact and it feels thinner. And this is the 40 millimeter, which feels pretty small for me. It doesn't, it feels a little small for my wrist, but uh, the screen's larger than the 38. So maybe more people would want to go for the 40 millimeter. But if you want to see what it looks like on a, on a big hairy wrist like mine, there you go. While there is no watch face store on the Apple Watch Series 4, there are a bunch of watch faces and some new ones. Let's run them all down. So these are the 40 and the 44 millimeter Apple Watch Series 4. These are both stainless steel, which means they're the step-up models from the aluminum. This is the regular stainless steel and this is the gold stainless steel, which is a new color. Uh, this kind of corresponds to where the 38 and 42 millimeter watches were last year, but these both have larger displays. They are a little more bezel-less, a lot more bezel-less, and they fill a lot more of the screen. They also have curved edges. And let's take a look. This is one of the new infographic watch faces. This is not available on other Apple watches. So it fits eight into here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you can customize it as well by adjusting color. Now all the Apple watch watch faces have some degree of customization. There are no extra watch faces beyond the ones that Apple supplies. So no watch face store yet. But there are new complications, which means bits of information that have extra bits of info here. UV index, which is a new one, uh, sunrise, sunset, stopwatch, stocks. By the way, you can feel on this crown that it has new haptic feedback. So as I turn it, I get little clicky feels. So that's also new. Heart rate, calendar, so you could do that. You could change these up. You could change all of them. You can actually change the ones in the middle. You can add a new calendar, something that curves around on top. Let's say do heart rate. And if I tap these, I can adjust them all as well. This display definitely looks a lot bigger. And you can tell if you go back to the grid o apps, which is always on the Apple Watch here, I don't use it that often. The icons here are a lot larger to touch. Usually they're pretty tiny on previous Apple Watches. Now they're approaching something my finger could reach. So that's what the two new Apple Watch Series 4 watches look like side by side. But let's compare the Apple Watch Series 4 44 millimeter next to the Apple Watch Series 3 42 millimeter. This is the largest Apple Watch Series 3 steel. This is the largest Apple Watch Series 4 also steel, but gold steel. So let's lay these side by side and now you can really see the difference. This really seems small. This seems big. Uh, the cases are not that different. So it is bigger but I don't think it's crazy big. I like the size of this a lot. The big difference too is the watch faces look a lot larger. And that's because these, this display here goes edge to edge a lot more. Now they both use circular watch faces. It looks like pretty perfectly circular. Um, 
That one looks a little more oval. Let's compare a few other of the watch faces. Now Liquid Metal is one of those new flashy motion watch faces that's on the new Apple Watch, but it's also in Watch OS 5, but it looks a lot different. Here, they're filling out the display. Here, they put it into like a little circle, so it almost feels like a liquid metal moon. Uh, it's a very big difference. It's a shame they didn't fill out the display here and just show you it. But if you wanna look at what the display on the old Apple Watch really looks like edge to edge, the photo watch face shows it off. You can see it's squared off and you can see the bezels here compared to here where it's a lot larger and curved. So it's really about extra screen size. So the speaker on the new watch is also louder. So let's test that out. What's the weather? Okay, here's the weather for today. That's Apple Watch Series 3. What's the weather? Okay, here's the weather for today. That's a lot better. Also, these watches with watchOS 5, you can now just raise it right to your face and, and just say what you want and not have to say, hey Siri. Good news is the new Apple Watches work with all your old bands and all your old chargers. So if you already have an Apple Watch, then you probably know what it's bringing to the table. The new Apple Watch does not promise better battery life on a daily basis, and it doesn't have that radical a design look. And what do its fitness features feel like? We're gonna be doing a lot more testing with this. So stay tuned for a full Apple Watch Series 4 review and a lot more fitness tests here at CNET. Hey, thanks for watching. We just got the Apple Watch Series 4, so stay tuned for a lot more testing and a full review coming up soon on CNET.